Hello and welcome back to our Starfleet 2 Krellin Commander. Let's play poorly. As always, music is by Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. And we are on tutorial number four, which is weapons. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so apparently we're supposed to be doing these other missions before we do these tutorials, but I don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, all right, so the purpose is to show us how to blast the enemy using torpedoes in favor phasers in both automatic and manual modes. And obliterator pods. I, pods. I don't know what an obliterator pod is. It sounds cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We start in orbit around SSI-8A with three enemy freighters. Weapons are at the default setting. Automatic targeting set to destroy. Okay. So we're going to freeze the simulation here real quick. All right. Um, all right, freeze the simulation. There we go. Had my, uh, the wrong touch portal panel going. Um, okay. We gotta examine the weapon systems and other information without interruption. Yes, that would be nice. Okay, bridge display. Above the target data, uh, we are in the bridge display. Yes, yes, we are. Okay, above the target data, which I guess is here. PA, no, maybe not. PA, TA, TA. Oh, over here, over here, target data, okay. There we are, PA, TA, TA. One phaser bank and two torpedo tubes. All right, ta-ta, ha. Um, small letter is the targeting mode, which is automatic. I'm guessing it'll go to TM when it's uh, manual. All right, these are green, ready to fire. If an indicator is red, weapon is not ready. If it's black, it is not operational. Okay. Just below these indicators is the target data display. That's that's this thing here. Let me uh, switch out to the manual. Hold on a second. There we go, so we can follow along. In the upper right corner of the display is the number of torpedoes. That's it, right there, okay. O pause relative position of any enemy units in firing range. Bearing and velocity. And the weapon column shows which weapon is locked on that target. Okay, that's okay, that's interesting. And then I guess this is the these these are freighters. This is the little like icon here. Got it. Alright. Oh yeah. Weapon is set to destroy. Well letters in the weapon column set to destroy. Yellow is disabled, blue is standby. And the background of the letter, white, manual, black, for automatic. Oh, this part here, not this, not this, okay. Red to destroy, yellow, oh, got it, okay. Black for automatic. Since you are ready to give the enemy a blast, Alt F, okay, let's get out of uh, freeze time. Okay, when the XO asks if you want to set weapons to disable versus destroy, the answer is no. Oh, press delete to fire. Okay, press delete to fire torpedoes at two of the freighters. I guess uh, delete is the torpedoes. All right, shall we weapons to disable rather than destroy? No. Cool. Okay, there they go. Boom, boom. Nice. All right. Now hit the third freighter with the phasers, which is insert. Did it hit? Yes, okay, it hit. All right, it says we cannot fire again until your torpedo tubes are reloaded or the phasers are re-energized. For a short time, the indicators turn red. I'm guessing these guys here, yeah, okay. Or no, these guys? Some, something turns red. Uh, when your shots have hit, freeze again. Okay, freeze again. And now we are going to set the torpedoes manually. So, oh boy, okay. Combat, weapons, torpedoes. All right, torpedo one on standby and torpedo two on Mode manual. Target ID. 
Oh, oh, okay. So we're gonna set it to one of these guys. Which one does it want me to do? Does it matter? I guess it doesn't. Okay, we're gonna do there. Corn Husker. No, we're gonna go with the one that says Lucky Sun. No, 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 no. We'll go. Patriot. There we go. Done. All right, so now I see it's manual over here, and then this is on standby. Okay, okay, making sense, making sense. Let's go back to the main menu. There we go. Unfreeze and fire the torpedoes as soon as they are ready. Okay. Torpedo two away. Boom! All right. Freeze. Reset both torpedoes to auto and destroy. Oh god, I've forgotten how to do that. I mean, I was literally right there. Okay, so B. Weapons. Torpedoes. Mode. Auto. Mode. Auto. One of them is off, right? So, torpedoes. Uh... Destroy. Destroy. There we go. You can set a torpedo to disable rather than destroy. By disabling an enemy ship, you can use the tractor beam to draw it in and board it if its shields are down. Phasers can also be fired in manual mode, just like torpedoes. The setting procedure is exactly the same. Alright, so we're going to go do that. We're going to unfreeze. Go to the bridge display. And... Fire... what? Okay. Oh, I guess we don't have to do it. Alright, so, um... I guess we just do the thing. Razor's a hit. Excellent. I have completed the minimum requirements of my mission. Well, that's nice. Continue till time expires. Okay. Once you destroy an enemy ship, you'll get a message. Ignore that message. Got it. We're ignoring the message. Okay, so we want to destroy them all, right? They both dead yet? Or the two of them are dead. Oh, and he's dead. Done. Okay, shields are lowered. Canceling the red alert. Excellent. We are now at status orange. All right, it says you can fire weapons while traveling in normal space, just as when in orbit. Targets must be in range. Ten points for torpedoes, five points for phasers. Got it. Okay. Also, your weapon officer will tell you when your we weapons are locked onto a target. If you have not selected a bombardment mode, you can order your torpedo control to fire whenever possible. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So let's see. S something. Strategic command. No, that's not right. Planet. Bombardment. Oh, wait. What? I'm confused. Is this for just... Bombarding the planet? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Strategic. Nope. Hang on. Try this again. Strategic. Planet. Bomb I guess it is bombardment. Mode. Continuous. Uh thing happen? Am I frozen? Or am I not frozen? Oh, there it is. Okay. Must fire phasers yourself. Okay, press W... Oh, wait. No, G, do, do, planet. Bombardment. Weapons. Phasers. Mode. Continuous. 
Am I supposed to be targeting? I guess I am targeting the. Why am I targeting the planet? I guess the, I guess I am automatically targeting the planet since there's nothing else here. Okay. All right, we're going back to here, and we're gonna start the bombardment. How do we start the bombardment? Alt B. Planet damage level three percent. Okay. All right, so Alt B, let me see, there's this thing here. Is that under... Why do we start the bombardment without having to know, having to remember the key command? Uh... Bombardment mode, no? Oh, right, but how do you start? Hmm, under B maybe? Combat CC? Nope. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, that's gonna that's going to annoy me because I don't know where that control comes from. And it seems like an odd control to just have only on a key command. So where is the Alt-B coming from? Like, what menu option is that? It's gotta be a menu option, right? Because Bombardment's gotta be fairly rare. Or, well, maybe not rare, we are Krellins after all, but... It can't possibly be only on the, uh, the key- Oh god, what's happening? We have supply- I'm, I'm confused. Uh, alright. Uh, let me, uh, let me go, like, halt, let me halt. Halt. Did that halt? Yes, it did. It looks like it's on pause when I'm in that mode. Alright, and now I'm at low power. What the heck? I guess I was firing too many, too many times. Uh, okay, so finally we've got our obliterator pods here. Can be used on the planet with no shield or the shield has been knocked down. We've killed a whole lot of people. You have two each of which wipes out about half of the planet. All right, let's blast 18A. From the bridge display, all right, we click B for combat, W for weapons, obliterator pods, oh God, it just automatically just goes. All right, boom. Oh my god! 166... 167 million dead. Woo! Alright, let's do it again. Hmm. Alright, so that's done. Now I really need to figure out... What's Big Brother? I don't know. Bombard. Okay, we're not in orbit anymore. Oh, it has no planet. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, so we can't actually do the thing I was trying to do, trying to figure out where that alt B comes from. Um, all right. Well, uh, we're about halfway through. We'll do one more tutorial and, uh, and see what happens. All right, so uh, we're still in here because I have one question I'd like to posit to uh, the dev uh, because I'm confused here about the way the tutorial describes this. Uh, so it says here, if you have not selected a bombardment mode, you can order your torpedo control to fire whenever possible, which is continuous, right? Mode continuous. A flashing continuous button, yes. This lessens your workload during combat. You must fire phases yourself, fine. Press W and B to have both phasers and torpedoes targeting the planet, which they were anyway. And then we go back to the main menu. 
which is and here, I guess. And Alt B starts the bombardment. And then you can change the bombardment mode to halt. So this is a toggle of some sort, but if we do a search for this, it's bombardment or continuous fire toggle switch. Does that toggle between bombardment and continuous fire? Or is it, does it toggle between bombardment on and off or continuous fire on and off, depending on which way it's set? But if that's the case, oh, here we go. Bombardment mode activates planetary bombardment once it has been set with bombard option. And when in normal sp space sets to continue, oh, okay. It's one or the other. It doesn't swap between the two. It's one or the other, depending on what your condition is, what your situation is. And then you can turn it on or off from here. Continuous on or off in space or firing at uh, uh, ship targets. And Alt-B does bombardment on or off if you're targeting a planet. Got it. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, now we're going to head on to escorts. Tutorial 5. All right, we got we to gotta quit out of here. How do we do that? Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Quit. Oh, I have to return to the star fort. All right, well, let's let's get to the star fort. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I not have enough juice? I guess this is the nearest one here. I guess I have enough juice. I'm I'm not sure exactly what that how that energy stuff works. Here we go. Now we're heading back. All right. Once we're done, go back in tutorial five. All right. So I did not actually go to the star fort, and I didn't want to figure out how what I did wrong there. So I just quit and start over again. Tutorials. Well, now it says I didn't do tutorial four. Oh well. Escorts. And this is the last one I'm going to do uh, before I start actually playing the game because apparently we're not really supposed to be doing any of these until way, way later in our careers. Um, but hey, all right, let's see. So we are uh, docked at a star fort. Got it. Now, now let me see. It does have to, it, it is supposed to look like that. And I didn't see one where I was, okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Oh shit. There are 20 escort formations illustrated on pages 109 to 111 of the battle manual. You should assign a formation to your escorts. Otherwise, they will stay behind. If you do leave them behind, you don't need to go back for them. Just assign a formation and they will eventually catch up. Okay. For now, put them in box formation. So we're going to go to strategic command, escorts. Formation. Uh, we scroll through the formations. Ooh, box. Ooh. How many of them? 20? Holy crap. All right, box formation. Formation assigned. We're getting a message. Do you want to read it? Uh, we're going to ignore that. All right, go to the nav map and target SS41 at 6, 9. Aha. Guess we're just kind of going over here. Start my engines.
Yeah, they are. Nice. Okay. Zoom. All right. We have to target the planet once we arrive and establish orbit. Once we have established orbit, we don't want the escorts to orbit, and then we're going to get the scan data. Okay. And we need to target 41A. There it is. Oh, my guys are flying around. Oh, that's cool. Took him a second to get back into position. Okay. We establish orbit. They do not. Then we scan, and then we don't need the planetary map, apparently. Okay. No map. Now, do we want to send a landing party? Also refuse. No. Okay, so Formation 20 is called System Search. When ordered to this formation, your escorts will go to the four corners of the star system. The entire system is then under observation with the combined long-range scan scans of the four ships, making this formation useful if you want to make a quick survey of the system. All right, so we're going to set them to... I'm going to set them to Formation 20. How do I do that again? G, E, F... Geth, I think I... Okay, all right. I could go backwards, right? System search. There we go. And then we're going to go to the system map to watch them. There they go. Very nice. They are done. Now, when they're all on station, return to the bridge display and change to one of the other formations. Okay, what? what well, why? Did, oh, I, I guess we're not doing a thing. We're just, just doing this. It says that it's used. Oh, they're reporting not enemies. Okay, they're not doing. They're just doing a system search. Uh, just a survey. They're not surveying the planets. Okay, but all right. Misunderstood that. Okay, so let's get back out here. Oh, enemy detected now. Well, let's get out of here. Let's do. We're not out of here, but let's go back to box. Okay, here we go. Feel free to take care of the, the enemy ships. Well. Oh dear. I'm stressing out now because this is way, way above my pay grade. Um, should we set the battle fleet? Oh, okay. I'm a little confused about this one. Press M to switch to the tactical, tactical display. From where? Okay. Um, should we set the battle fleet to disable rather than destroy? No. I have a feeling this is not what we should be doing, but okay. In the escorts menu, targeting. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna set a different option to each escort. Okay. Select the number of you want by using the right and left cursor keys. There we go. Okay. Then pressing plus. Okay, and then select targeting up and down, and we're gonna do one to disable. Two to five. Uh, 
Oh, slave jobs. Okay, okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. And then number three is exclusive fire. All right, any target your ship does not fire at. Okay, that makes sense. And then hold fire on you. Obviously, it's a weird combination, it says here, that you wouldn't normally use, but that's how we do it. The escorts, listing at the top of the escort, should show... Ah, there we are, D, S, E, and H. All right. And then bombardment, only on escorts in orbit. All right, we're going to move away from the planet. Uh, let's see. Leaving orbit, okay. Orange, now we're going to zero. Okay, now we're going to use the targeter. To go back to the planet. And then we're going to have them to orbit with me. Okay. Orbit yes. Or escorts orbit yes. Okay. There we are. And now we're going to set them to bombardment targeting mode. Alright, so we're going to do targeting. I guess we're all doing targeting. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, I don't need to do it that way. I can do all. Boom. Bombardment. And then they're gonna fire a few salvos, apparently. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the war map. Uh, war map. And go to a system- ooh. No, stop doing that! Oh my god, please stop your bombardment. Uh, we'll accept their surrender, yes. Okay, uh, now we're gonna go to a system containing a star fort. There we go, how's that one? And we're not gonna target the star fort. Okay, I, I see what I did wrong last time. We're gonna go somewhere on the other side, over here. How about, like, right there? Okay, it says, don't target, instead target someplace other than the other side of the system, someplace on the other side of the system. Leave orbit and go to the target system. Make sure to bring your escorts with you. Um, oh dear. I have to set up, wait. Are they already in box? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoops. I've done a terrible thing. I have lost track of where my Thing is, hang on. Oh dear. All right, we're back. Now, let me let me see if I can get set, uh, escort formation. Set them to box. Boom. Okay, that should get them to follow me. Now, war map. Hello, war map. There you are. Wait, how did it- wait, what? Velocity, none? Oh, crap. Delete, delete. Reset. Go away. Yeah, no. No. 
Yes, okay. Okay, now we try this. Try this again. Going up here. Now we go. All right. So now it says the third option on the escort command escort command line is commands. All right. I see. Same. Okay. Commands are given in the same way as targeting options are assigned using the cursor keys, plus and minus, and arrow keys, and then enter. Oh, I see. Okay. The data command shows the escort information table of the battle menu. What? Okay, I'll have to figure that out at some point. If you assign this command to all escorts, pressing any key moves the display from one escort to the next. Okay. All right, so it just gives me information about that guy. Please... Just gonna, I'm gonna go over there. So we're heading in the right-ish direction, so we're just gonna slowly move, like it says. Go to escorts and commands. Okay. Use release on escort one. And he goes on his way. There he goes. Wee. Oh, don't let him, don't let him, uh, don't get him out of tactical range. Oh, he's out of tactical range. All right, next, return to the commands box and use the swap between, what? Oh, escorts one and two. Okay, so we got to do it this way. The other guy isn't coming back. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, he did come back. Okay, let's freeze that. Now we go to commands, and finally we have conscript. conscript. You don't have to select an escort number. Over, oh, the release destroyer. Well, he's not around. Okay, well, all right, now, then he just basically comes back. Back to the station. Okay. Got it. The conscript command could be refused, depending on whether or not it's been given other duties. And then the rendezvous command brings the escort close to your ship. Okay. This is the command you could have used to bring all four escorts into orbit before using the bombardment targeting option. Okay. So, let's try that. Nope. All of them. Whee! Okay, they're all clustering. Cool! Right. And go to station commands, the selected escort. Got it. And it brings them back. Go to escort, sends them back to where, or go to station, sends them back to where they're supposed to go. Fantastic. All right. Well, now, now I kind of know what I'm doing with that, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of context that I don't have. So we're going to stop the tutorials at this point and then start playing the game proper next time. And we'll see what shenanigans happen then. Thanks for watching. See you next time.